down the end of this road. Oh, senor. Gracias, gracias, gracias. Causa. Down the end of this road is a port from where I'm going to search for and hopefully find a transport ship that can take me down the Amazon River towards the Colombian town of Leticia. Join me. Chica, estoy buscando una bote a Leticia. No sabes dónde es eso. Leticia. Huh? Una bo uh, tú no sabes. Bote a Leticia. Lancha, lancha. No, una así, bote así a Leticia. Lancha, ¿Cuál, cuál? Así, lancha. Aquí, Marie lancha. Bernana, Marie. There is a boat to Leticia, and I'm hoping it's leaving today. Schedules, well, there is no schedule really. We're a transport ship. When it's filled up with goods, it goes. Hopefully, that's this evening. Leticia, 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 donde? Wow, look at all these ships going down the Amazon, up the Amazon, different tributaries, taking different things. Look at it. Just loads of them. Wow. Supplying different towns and cities and villages with the goods that they need. Eso es para Leticia, señor. Para Leticia. Sí, claro, gracias. Hola, señor. Sí, sí, sí. Puedo. Gracias. Leticia, sí. Super. Oh my God. Ooh. We found our boat and he said yes today. Oh my God, what do I do? Where do I go? Here. Oh. Careful as you go, my love. Vamos, señor. Vamos. Here you go. Un minuto, señor. Por favor. Oh. Oh. I've had a local help me. He saw me struggling like an Englishman in the tropics. The hammock is ready on both sides. Thanks to a young man from Venezuela, a chamo, the first Venezuelan we've met on our journey towards Venezuela. Over there in the very distance in a pink t-shirt is Benjamin. Now yesterday, Benjamin bought a hammock, spent a lot of money on it. But when we came, <laughs> when we came here to the boat, he realized he'd left it behind. Backpacker Benjamin. There he is, he's bought a new one. Okay. Alte Monte. Okay. Es lejos de Leticia o más cerca? Más alta. Más alta, ah, okay, claro, claro, claro. ¿Tú vives allí? Oh, okay, claro. Wow, oh, look who's down there. I was trying to find Benjamin, come up. Come in. Top floor, mate, top floor. Is there room for beds up here? You just no? come up. Well, I've left Ben to set his hammock up. Let's see if he can do it. We'll go back afterwards and see what stage it's in. As we come down to touch dry land for the last time, maybe for a few days, I don't know how long this journey is. It's definitely a couple of nights. The fact that I bought a hammock. Cerveza? No. No? Para mosquitos. Oh, para mosquitos? Claro. Ah, okay, okay, okay. That man is, I thought it was beer, but he's taking mosquito coils, all the things you need in the villages and the towns on the Amazon. Think about it, things that we don't really need in our countries maybe. We don't really need a mosquito coil in England, but here we're being loaded up with things, probably mosquito nets, mosquito coils, all kinds of stuff, sprays. That's the Amazon for you. Being Peru, they love noise. There's no such thing as the concept of noise pollution in Peru. Just a speaker blasting out some kind of sound, disturbing everyone here, and no doubt everyone in the house is behind the speaker. Look, wow. Well, piso es tuyo. No, ¿por qué no? Porque estoy metiendo la mercadería en mi, estoy mandando. Ah, solo tus cosas. Ajá, estoy ah, mandando. Okay. Ah, ok, ok, ok. ¿Qué, qué, qué cosas? No, cemento. Ah, es uh, tu business. Sí. Ok, claro, entiendo. Businesswoman. Sí. Ok, ok, ok. What I've noticed is a lot of people, a lot of people here, with Chinese features. And they are the descendants of people from China who came here in the 1800s to exploit the rubber. 
the rubber industry is worth a lot of money. And so Chinese people came here to Peru in the 1800s to make money in that business. And their descendants, Chinese looking people, still live here over a hundred years later. Wow. That, nah, that, that's nah, fine. that's fine. That's fine. Oh yeah, sit in it and see if it's fine. Go on, sit, right. in sit in it, Ben, and watch what happens. Sit in it. Good luck, mate. Sit in it. You <laughs> absolute numpty. Ben is just not cut out for travel on the Amazon. This guy's, he's going to embarrass me in front of everyone else. Benjamin. No tienes jamaco? No? ¿Cuántos días tú vas a viajar? Sin jamaco? ¿Cómo tú puedes uh, dormir? There's a guy there from Venezuela. He doesn't have a hammock. He's going to sleep on the floor, on the metal floor, for two days. ¿Cuántos es tu jamaco? ¿Cuántos es eso? Treinta. Treinta. Chamo. Para usted, más cómodo. Sí, no mal. No mal, chamo, no mal. Fino, 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 as they say in Venezuela. Qué fino. Conviene vivir para con Dios. Todo para uno, uno para todo. Anda, baila la aburema. Fundamento. ¿Cuántos días a Leticia? A Leticia de aquí... ¿Tres? Do, do, dos noches y un día. Ok, claro, claro. ¿A, a dónde usted? Santa Rosa, Perú. Santa, Santa Rosa, Rosa, Perú. Brasil, Colombia. Sí. Tres fronteras juntos, Uy. tres países. Qué interesante, sí. qué interesante. The journey has begun. We're laughing because the guy in the hammock next to me is awfully close. It's almost as if we're sharing a hammock. If I turn over and he turns over facing me, we'll be lips to lips. <laughs> Good job I brought that Johnny <laughs> in that town on the first video. All right. Good luck. No kissing. It's um, six o'clock in the morning and we're in some small village on the banks of the Amazon River. And I've never seen places like this before in my life. Little wooden towns, much more, much more basic than the ones we saw even coming down from Bucalpa. And the difference here, the main difference here is, they're full of Chinese people, I never expected that. Half the people in this village look Chinese, like they've stepped out of the Shaolin Temple or some Kung Fu movie from the 1970s. It's, um, it's very intriguing to see it. Oh, donde viajas? Yo vivo más allá. Más allá, sí? Más allá, sí. ¿Un pueblo en la Amazon? Sí, sí, pueblo. ¿Sí? Entiendo, entiendo. ¿Cómo es la vida allí? Sí, bien. ¿Sí? Bien. Tranquilo, probablemente. Tranquilo. Sí? Sin delincuencias. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, es bueno. Mejor que, mejor que grande ciudad entonces. Sí, la ciudad es mucho problema. Oh, siempre, siempre. Sí. El contenido y el presente cuadro de introducción de los 10 mandamientos de la Sagrada y Perfecta Ley de Dios. Hermanos, ahora como nuestro hermano está grabando, There's a man on the boat giving a religious lecture. De Explaining right now the ten commandments. Ahora vamos a predicar para que esta prédica se vaya hasta su país y el hermano predique. Thank you very much, hermano. Oh, you're welcome, sir. You're welcome. ¿A dónde, señor? Finito. Sí, tu pueblo, sí, señor. Sí. Ok. 
Después cuántos minutos? So, ¿Te va? Pronto. Ah, okay. Mucha suerte, señor. Mucha suerte. We're pulling into a town that is straight out of a 1970s kung fu flick. It's going to have a little walk around before the boat leaves again. Wow, what is this place? Oh, señor, donde, señor? Gracias. Wow, where are we? Where are we? This is like something out the flipping 1700s. If you took away this thing, everyone's Chinese. Am I imagining it? Buenos dias, señor. Buenos dias. Am I imagining it? Or is everyone flipping Chinese? It's like stepping off the boat in Canton, 1852. What a place. Not much going on, to be fair. Hola, señora. Wow. Una pregunta para usted, si yo puedo. Aquí en la Amazonas, muchas personas con uh, cara como el chinos. ¿Es verdad? O... o si hay chinos. Sí. Muchos aquí, ¿no? No. 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 Ok, ok. Yo creo que es uh, chinos. No. No. She's saying they're not Chinese, and I'm wrong. <laughs> Have I just imagined the whole thing that these people look Chinese? Maybe that's just what the people of the Amazon look like. To me, they look Chinese. They've got those little beards like a Fu Manchu. Chinese features. Maybe I just, I don't know. You decide. You can Google it. Adios, señor. Otra vez. Suerte, señor. Suerte. Muchas gracias. Suerte contigo. Gracias. Are you trying to tell me he's not Chinese? That is a flipping Chinese man, surely. Oh, super gracias. Muchas gracias, señor. Muchas gracias. Adios y suerte. Wow. I was given a bit of melon by Jesus. Have you ever had that happen to you? No. Has Benjamin? No. That's because he's sleeping in a hammock. Well, I'm out here meeting the gente of the Amazon. Are the people here Chinese? Because if they're not, I've made an absolute knob of myself for this entire video. Look I've just seen one walking past like a monk and he just went onto the boat. So I'm getting the same. You're getting Chinese vibes? Shaolin Kung Fu vibes? Yeah, yeah, there you go. I don't feel so bad. Ben is saying that it's Chinese. they look Chinese as well. Hopefully it's true. Senor. Senor! Aquí hay muchos uh, los chinos. ¿Sí? Sí. Okay, claro, claro, claro. Interessante. Thank God I wasn't wrong. He said, yes, there's lots of Chinese here. Wow, thank God. Otherwise, I'd have to delete the whole first half of this video. Me saying, look how Chinese they look. Racist. Adios, amigos. Adios. Suerte, suerte en el río. Es fuerte aguas. There goes a the family. To certain death down the rapids of the Amazon. You'll be reading about it in the news in a few days' time or not. Probably happens all the time. Uh, ¿Cuántos tú quieres? ¿Cuántos? ¿Quieres dinero, sí? Ok, ok, ok. Lo puedo. No te preocupes. Por favor. Sin problemas, sin problemas. Todo es bien, todo es bien. Todo es bien. ¿Eso es tuyo? ¿Cómo? ¿A dónde? ¿Allí? Ya está la No va a parar ya. We're carrying a lady's wood to a boat. What kind of adventures you have in villages? Cuidado, por favor. Cuidado. Aguas, aguas. Sí, 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 sí. Oh my God, what a life. What a life. Cuidado. ¿Dónde? ¿Esta? Sí. ¿Sí? ¿Aquí? ¿This is your wood? Oh, this is your wood. What a life. 
Wow. La vida es difícil. Más. ¿Ok? ¿Suficiente? Sí. Ok, ok. Mucha suerte, mi amor. Mucha suerte. Gracias, gracias. Gracias. Adiós. Suerte, suerte. Wow. Poor woman. All she's got is some sticks wrapped up that she's going to take back to her village somewhere on the Amazon. How different is that life from mine and probably from yours? Probably very different, right? Crikey. Wow. There she goes, stumbling down the waterway. ¿A dónde tú vives, señor? En la frontera. En frontera también. ¿En cuál sitio? Sí. Colombia, sí. Perú, Brasil. Perú. 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 Ajá. Hay una más, sí, hay una más a la, al frente de Leticia. Muy cerca. Sí. Leticia está acá y nosotros estamos ahí al frente. Sí. ¿Tú nací? Sí, yo nací ahí. Oh, okay. En esa isla. Oh, wow. Qué interesante. Uh -huh. ¿Tú visitaste Lima antes en tu no, vida? No, no, nunca. ¿Nunca? Sí. Iquito sí. Iquito sí. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. Pero, Pero Lima, no Lima. No, no, no. Lima. Iquito sí. Ahí está un tiempo. ¿Te sientes peruano? Sí, claro. ¿Sí? Claro, claro. ¿Sí? <risa> Porque es muy lejos de capital, de Lima, más sí, grande sí, ciudad. Sí, no, lo, lo. Pero en tu alma. Tú sí. eres peruano. Sí, claro, claro. claro. Este, tenemos, tenemos sangre de colombiano y peruano. Okay. Y de okay. brasileño también, porque mi bisabuela era brasileña. O sea, okay. no, es que nosotros somos una mistura. Y aquí... Tal vez no es verdad, pero muchas personas con uh, cara uh, como los chinos. ¿Es verdad o no? Hay, ¿Sí? hay muchas. Mucha. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? <risa> ¿Antes fue muchos chinos no, no, aquí? No, no, no. Lo, lo que pasa es como te digo, esa etnia, o sea, ese idioma que habla la gente, por ejemplo, el marxés, el marxés, tiene un, tiene, es así, es como okay. hablaba chino, sí, 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 okay. pero es un, una, una tribu, es una tribu, ah, sí, Marcés, ah, Marcés, ah, no es el chino, no son oh. chinos, son, 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 son peruanos, son peruanos, pero tienen los ojos, sí, 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 pero es de una tribu, ya, ya es no es un que, te que fue amansado, que fue amansado, yo antes vivía en el monte. Sí, sí eso lo que tuvieron que hacer un trabajo con ellos, amansado. Ya salieron, son civilizados. ¿ves? Entonces, son cosas que en, en la vida que uno se admira. Antiguamente tú, tú hallabas indios, indios bajando por aquí, por el río en Canoa, sí. indios que se escapaban del monte. Sí. Porque hay una tribu de indios antes que comían comían personas. Sí, antes. Bueno, sí, sí, sí. ahorita no. Ya no, Espero. ya no, ya no. A ahorita, ahorita ya no. Pues. Sí, ahorita sí, ya sí, no. sí. Myself and Ben have stepped off a boat in a town called San Pablo because we've had no internet for 24 hours. <laughs> and we're craving our internet fix. So we're gonna go look some internet in the town of San Pablo. Señor, ¿dónde yo puedo buscar internet? Internet. Internet. Sí. Pagado, así sí, pagado. Sí, sí, yo puedo pagar. Hay más, hay sitios, los pedajes de dos pisos. Sí. Sí, ahí hay. Gracias. Wow, señor. Oh, oh, señor. <laughs> Wow. Casi muerto. ¿Eres? Oh. Sí, por favor. Oh, al final. Muchas gracias, Amen. So I didn't just find internet in this town. I also found some kind of carnival. Or whatever it is, I don't know. Well, 
you never know what you're going to stumble across when you're looking for a bit of internet in a town in Peru. They do like a fiesta here. Let's get back on the boat. The Amazon today is a rather empty place with a few major exceptions such as Manaus and Iquitos, but it wasn't always like that. When the first European, Francisco de Orellana, sailed down the Amazon in the 1500s, he described seeing cities that match European ones for size. Now that was always presumed to be somewhat false by modern historians. However, with new technology such as LiDAR mapping the Amazon, we are now rediscovering ancient cities here and are proving that Francisco de Orellana was in fact correct. Well, we've stopped off on the boat at the last port of the night. Tomorrow morning we'll be pulling into, well, a small frontier town in Peru opposite the Colombian border. Benjamin, you had fun? I've really enjoyed it. Loved it. Ready for a good night's sleep, ready for Colombia. Wow, for once he's quite positive, I'm shocked. Anyway, we're going to um, finish up our meal, get back on our boat, and we'll see you guys in the morning at a Peruvian border town. Good night from wherever the hell we are on the Amazon River. Señor, por favor, ¿dónde es inmigración? Inmigración, Perú. Por aquí yendo. Well, we've arrived at our boat's final destination, the very, very last village in Peru. Just over the water, over there, in the distance, is Colombia, where we're going to be heading. But before we go there, we have to sign out of the country. So let's go to the immigration hut. Through the mud. I can tell we're almost in Colombia because when I just asked somebody directions to the immigration hut, he said, si patron. Where have you heard Si Patron before? Narcos. Si Patron. Oh, we finally made it through the mud to immigration. Migraciones en Espanol. I've been stamped out of Peru. Got my exit stamp, Ben's getting his one. Hopefully he's not tried smuggling anything up his bum. We'll see. There he is. Oh. Well, that is the end of the portion of the journey that took place here in Peru. Now we're going to find a boat, cross the river, and head to the next country, Colombia. Gracias por su visita. You're welcome. You're welcome, Peru. Hola, primo. Buenos. Oh, bien. Sí, bien, bien, bien. Oh, people are livening up. Now we're getting closer to Colombia. I've noticed there's a bit more liveliness in the air. Peruvians are quite quiet, but it seems that not down this part of town. Ooh. Okay, senor. We're off. Ben's negotiated, he says. We're going to pay five soles each which is just over a pound. Seems fair to enter a new country. Oh, okay, senor. Necesito, sí. Oh, otra, 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 donde? Yeah. Claro. How embarrassing to wear a life jacket. I know I look ridiculous, he's ruined the shot. I was gonna look cool cruising across the Columbia and I'm in this ridiculous thing. No street cred on the river.
<laughs> wow. Kick it. Wow. I've been in this country five minutes and already I've been called guapo twice by some old ladies. Anyway, enough of me being so beautiful. We already know that. We're here on one of the three towns and three borders. This, the southernmost point pretty much of Colombia, is where three countries meet. Peru where we were, just down the river, Colombia where we are, and Brazil about 500 meters away. We're gonna see more of Colombia in a future video, no doubt. So let's just go and have a quick look over the border in Brazil. Might be our only chance to ever go and see a little bit of Brazil. So let's walk up to the Brazilian border and pop our head over, maybe have a drink or something. Let's go. Welcome to Colombia. Es una ciudad peligrosa, señor. No. No? Okay, claro. Yo no entiendo por qué eso, pero okay. Suerte, suerte. Epa, epa, amigo, ¿qué tal? Super, señor, super. Claro que sí, ¿qué tal? Super. Quiero escuchar. Quiero escuchar tu canción. Ah, no, no lo sé. Es una canción bonita para ti. ¿eh? ¿De qué parte? Inglaterra, señor. Oh, saludo especial para mi gente linda de Inglaterra. Para toda mi gente linda que viene del otro lugar del mundo, papá. Bienvenidos al Amazonas. Bienvenido a Colombia. Bienvenido a Inglaterra. Esta es su casa. Gracias, la señor. La casa dulce de la bella Colombia. De la bella Colombia que quiere a los amigos nacionales e internacionales. Gracias, Inglaterra. Gracias, señor. Gracias por la invitación. Para toda mi gente linda, para toda la gente linda. Bienvenidos. Wow, qué hermoso, ¿no? La gente bella de Inglaterra, sí. la voz latina. Bienvenidos, chicos. Gracias, señor. Gracias. Obrigado, obrigado, obrigado. Bye. Qué bye. interesante. Adiós, señor. Adiós. Ok, adiós. Viva Colombia. You don't get that walking down the street in Hove <laughs> on a Tuesday afternoon at three o'clock. Difficult to get for a person from Inglaterra. Selvo, it's very difficult. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Slippery. Oh, para colombiano también. <laughs> Not only English people falling over in the mud of Colombia, Colombians fall over too sometimes. Donde es la frontera? Gracias. Oi, discúlpame, discúlpame. I'm in the middle of the road. Aquí, ¿qué es eso? Esta. A esta, ¿no? Okay, claro, gracias getting shown to the border with Brazil. They said it's 500 meters, but in this weather, it feels like a bloody major hike. Look at my head, dripping, absolute dripping. Ooh. Brazil, the land of samba. These are the kind of alleyways that they tell you not to walk down <laughs> when you're in South America. Especially not when you've got a bloody expensive camera in your hand. We'll be okay. Whoa. Oh my God. Hola, la frontera con Brazil. Buscando. Arriba, mi Arriba. Gracias. Difficil. Wow, look how people. Look how people are living here in these huts, literally living in tin shacks, literally tin shacks. Here on the border between Colombia and Brazil. Look at these houses. And yet they seem to have electricity and probably running water, even if they don't have windows. Wow. Well, all the money changing places tell me we must be on the border. Must be around the corner. Is it? Yes. The border. I think, is it that easy? Is it that easy that we go? Is it Brazil, Senor, or Colombia, Tamaria? Brazil. 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 Oh, we're in Brazil. Brazil. Gracias, Senor. Brazil. Oh, we're in Brazil. Who knew? We walked around the corner in flipping Brazil. Welcome to Brazil. Another country ticks off the list. Both for myself 
and for the channel. Hell yeah, let's see what Brazil's like. I like it so far. What? Igual, como estas? Sí, sí, sí. Estoy grabando como es Brazil. Mi amor, como estas? Yes, there must be some kind of game going on. It's all happening here. Buenas, 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 football fans. <laughs> wow, Brazilians are a little bit more lively. We've only crossed the border a minute ago. We're already going nuts. What a place. Yes, we are in Brazil because look at the writing. In Brazil, you have different letters. Exporta chao, importa chao. If you look up there, you can see the letters are a little bit different. It sounds more Russian. This is Brazil! I suppose, well I was going to stop there for a beer, but it's music blasting, which means demonetization. We'll have to go somewhere a little bit quieter. Wow, we'll I have to watch out now for people on motorbikes with guns, like we've seen on YouTube a thousand times. Senor? Absolutely! Gracias. Como estas? Bien? Wow, there we go. That was the most awkward fist bump, then I went for a handshake and he didn't give it, I grabbed his wrist. That was so cringe. And look here. Por favor, por favor. I love Brazil. Look at it. I love Brazil. Just to prove we really are in Brazil. What else can we see to prove we're in Brazil? I know. The flipping Brazilian flag. Brazil! Por favor, si tu puedes. Ooh, man. What a hot and sweaty journey this has been. Well, mis amores, that is the end of the Amazon part of our trip through South America. I'm now heading back into Colombia to finish off my journey to make the very last leg of the journey from Colombia to Venezuela, the land of chamos and chamas. So, until next time. Hola, mi amor. Hola. What a sweetie. Until next time, when we're on the road. Adios, amigos. Oh, and by the way, I think Ben is bottled out and he's refusing to come to Venezuela. He's leaving me to go alone at the last minute. But we'll survive, we'll survive, we'll be okay. So, um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye-bye from the border between Brazil and Colombia. Until next time. Bye-bye. Adios, amigos. Adios, mis amores.